Jan Randolph joins us now by phone from London. He is head of sovereign risk at IHS Global Insight. Jan, we're going to get to, ba to Brussels in just a moment. But what do you make of these headlines from the Basel Committee saying that if the banks were to truly be safe and sound as of the end of last year, they'd need $800 billion in additional capital? Well, it's nice to put some flesh to the actual uh, proposals here. The, these are long-term goals that gives uh, banks uh, a target, something to aim for. Uh, a lot of time to get there, though. But in principle, it's the right thing. It's the reaction to the crisis. Uh, G20 promised they'd come up with this. And uh, hopefully we'll end up with a sounder, safer banking system. Basically, it means uh, tripling of capital, better quality capital, but also uh, looking at liquidity because it tripped up so many banks, particularly uh, in Iceland, the UK, but elsewhere, were overly dependent on funding in the markets. Uh, so hopefully, you know, they, this, this will lead to a sound safety back, back banking system. Well, uh, Jan, as you and I and probably everybody by now knows, a lack of capital in the Irish banking system, a lack of capital in the Spanish banking system are really uh, in many ways at the heart of the crisis that faces the EU right now. There are many proposals on the table, uh, one in particular from Germany, for fixing this in the medium term. What do you think is going to get accomplished at this two-day summit of EU leaders? Well, the EU summit is terribly important. Uh, you know, Spain's sovereign rating has just been put on negative outlook, and uh, the markets are watching extremely carefully, particularly the German position. The Germans are very much now, unashamedly for once, in the driving seat, uh, telling uh, everyone else what the new rules are and uh, whether others can live with them. Um, you know, the sovereign debt restructuring mechanism will be, will be dealt with. Uh, the role of the ECB terribly important in the front line here, whether they'll have an enhanced role. Uh, because they, they're holding the line as well as being on the front line. Um, uh, but ultimately, behind all this, what is the German position? Uh, to what extent are they going to provide support for their weaker uh, Eurozone members? Well, as you point out, Jan, Germany in the driver's seat. A lot yet to come from that meeting in Brussels and anybody's guess as to whether they'll agree on anything. Jan Randolph, head of sovereign risk at IHS Global Insight.